Guys, look at this, look at this. What the heck is this thing? Oh my God. This just makes me think of one thing. Does it work well for bait? Let's give it a try. Look at that. These are like little paddles down here. Here are his little feet. Look at the tail. See these spikes on it? Jeez, these are sharp. That is weird, guys. Pretty big trip. Oh, oh it, 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 it. You So when I bought this bait, I didn't know what it was. All I saw was that it's labeled redfish candy. Ooh. I like redfish. Doggy. Do you know what this is? Have you seen this before? Look at that. That Damn. is such a, whoa, look at the spikes on this. Is it the head or the tail? That's a tail, that's a head right here. Look at the spikes. Here's the head. Oh, whoa. I heard about this shrimp. Whoa. This is queen mantis shrimp or something. They, they, they knocked the hell out of you with this little thing. It's a mantis hair. shrimp, huh? Yeah, they are pretty strong. Look out. Oh. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Comment below. Can you name what creature this is? All right, so Dad, do you know how you would put this onto a hook? That's how I don't. I don't either. But I, I do have, have this. The, the thread that The could, whole thing you wrap around it? I, I don't know. I'm going to just put it on the hook here. So we got a high-low rig here. I guess we're going to hook it on the tail. Whatever that is. Is it, it hard? The it's hard. It is hard. I don't know if I can hook it twice. I'm going to try hooking it twice. No, it Okay, so in between the plates here is actually a soft spot. So maybe I'll hook it. Oh, yeah. It's soft in between the plates. But then it's hard in here. This is so weird. Ow! Jeez, these are sharp. Okay, I don't think hooking it twice is a good idea. Maybe just hook it once through the shell. I've never used anything like this before. The closest thing I can think of is the ghost shrimps that we were using. So maybe we'll do that. A pair of scissors. Just cut it? Yeah. Whoa, look at the inside. I'm gonna wrap it up just in case, but it is pretty tough. Doesn't really seem like it needs a wrapping. Yeah. I don't know. They might not want to bite the spikes here. I might have to actually like peel it. All right. So I got it wrapped up now. It's on the hook. Let's see what happens. Let's put one on the top. And how about this one? We peel it. Yeah. Yeah. Ow! Ow! It's so spiky. Whoa! That is weird, guys. Look at that. You see that? I don't know. I've never used anything like this before, and I'm having a little bit of trouble here. I'm getting poked left and right. Here's the head. Here's just some of the body. I might be using this completely wrong right now. All right, I'm just gonna thread it through. It's like complete mush, so it's gonna be kind of challenging to even use this bait without the elastic thread. All right, that's why I like this thread because I can put really soft baits on here. I wrap it just enough so that it stays onto the hook. That looks good. I mean, in comparison to this one, I think this is the right way to do it. I'm not sure though. This one is such a hard shell. I'm not sure anything is willing to bite that because it's such a... It did bite crab. Yeah, that's true. But this yeah. is so pokey. It has so many pokes all over it. I'm going to save the head for the next one. It bit the hard one. Oh, that's the soft one. So I think that I want to throw an entire one of these big shrimps out. And these hooks are a little bit too small. So what I'm going to do is put it on a sure catch rig. This sure catch rig is like pretty much like a fish finder rig. I tie all these up myself and I package them up like this so that when I'm out on the field, I don't have to keep retying them. I just have them all tied up. And each one of these packs comes with three of them. So if it breaks off, I got three more. But this is perfect because it's a bigger hook where I can fit the entire shrimp on here. And this method is really easy. We're gonna use a swivel clip here. And this is where the sinker is gonna go. I'm gonna put that onto the main line right here. This is the main line that goes straight to my reel. And then I'm gonna tie on the sure catch rig on the other end right here. 
All right, so we're gonna open up the clip right here, put the six ounce sinker on here. Now, if anything starts to pull it, it won't even know because this is a sliding sinker. This is my secret weapon here, guys. And I use this big hook, I put it through the tail like this. I think this is gonna work. There we go. Since this is considered redfish candy, I might get a huge redfish coming through here. This is the perfect time of year to catch a big redfish. I can't think of a better bait. Put the whole thing on here, maybe I'll get a big one. So I wanna try and take this bait out really far out there. Maybe there's a big fish out there. And the only way I can do that is I have to have a lot of line. That's why I spooled up this Penn Senator with a bunch of 40 pound line on here. And uh, I'm ready to catch a big fish using this. It could be a huge redfish, it could be uh, anything. Who knows? That's the wonder of, of fishing on the ocean. Now, I've done a really awesome upgrade here. I have a Gomexis handle on here. The handle on here before was such a small little tiny one. This is a huge metal reel now that I can use to really crank in big fish. When I catch big fish using a small handle, my hand slips off of the reel. It's just not a very pleasant feeling. This feels amazing. This is the Gomexis brand handle. It's really easy to change out the actual handle and they make it for all sorts of reels. I just have mine on my Penn Senator. It's a great reel. Look how beautiful that handle looks. It just makes the whole reel look a lot nicer. It's got a great weight. It feels great in your hand. Awesome. And now the only way to get this guy out is we gotta take the drone out. And I love using my drone. So using a drone is totally extra. I know not everyone can have a drone, but I do have one and it's just fantastic to use it. I like to drop my bait really far out there because there's just different fish out there. Plus this reel right here is not a really good casting reel. So let's get this flying. That's a pretty large shrimp. Pretty big shrimp. Your reel's open, right? I dropped it down. Wow, there's a dolphin right there. That means there's lots of other fish there. Now that it's down, I'm gonna return my drone home. We'll tighten up my line here. The handle's really nice. It feels great in my hand. Shout out to Gomexis. If you haven't had a try to Gomexis handle before, I have it on a lot of my different reels. Yeah, look, it bit the mantis shrimp and left the shell. This is a little too small. I already got a small bait fish out. So, oh, look, this is a different one. It doesn't have the same patterning. Look, this is the one we caught earlier. I think this is called a northern kingfish. You see this, this, the difference? Comment below, what do you think the difference is here? I got one last rod. I'm gonna use a whiting head. This redfish, sharks, all sorts of things that would eat that bluefish. But I'm gonna cut it in half first, put it on this other big rod right here, cast it out, then I'll have four rods out. This one too. The big rod. What did he, what did he get? Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm on. That is a big whiting, Dad. Nice. Nice one. Oh yeah, we're eating that. Woo! And I got a tiny one. Sweet. Sweet Jesus, that is a tiny one. That is too small. We gotta let this one go. But that other one. Dad, we gotta keep that one. Oh my God, you stuck that all the way down his throat, man. Oh! Every time. This went off again. I 
I'm not sure anything's on here. Hey! Hey! That's a that's a piece That was a big one. something big guys. This is not a little whiting. Let's hope it's a redfish. Oh, it's here, it's here. What is it? Shark here. Woo! And I hooked it nearly perfectly right here. This is a little shark. Dad's got a fish. Perfect. Oh my God, this is definitely the strangest bait I've ever seen before. I can't believe tackle shops were selling this thing. It's hideous. This looks like prehistoric, like, this looks like Kabuto. Kabutops Kabuto. from Pokemon. Look at that, look at that <laughs> shell. And there's spikes all over it. What a strange bait. You know, those are delicacies. You, can, you know, it's pretty People expensive. eat them, huh? Oh yeah. Wow. I think it's called Lai Liu Ha. Lai Liu Ha? Oh, pissing shrimp. That's what that means in Chinese, Lai Liu Ha. These like, are like paddle. These are like little paddles down here. And then here is little feet. And then, these are like kind of spiky. Look at the tail. Hey, look at this. This is really cool, right? See these spikes on it? Oh, they're like little needles. Ooh, what is that? It's really soft, but it's, you know, it's a nice looking piece of bait right here. Definitely looks nice. I'm just like trying to hook it, but it's so soft that it's hardly getting hooked. This is a better idea. This is our elastic thread here. Just wrap it up. Instead of hooking it, you just wrap it. That's a better idea. Oh yeah, that's great. That looks amazing. So this is our high-low rig that we sell on our store. I designed it perfectly. Now I'm gonna cast it. Real close in, you see where the darker water is? That's where there's a little bit deeper of water drop off. So that darker area right there is where there's a drop off. I'm gonna cast it right in between the dark and the light. Looks like a good one. That's on our new rod too. I love this rod. The hey skipper rod. It's so sensitive, right? Yeah. It's so light, but and so strong. And it casts strong. out very far too, and it's very sensitive. And then Powerful. carbon fiber. A yeah, very strong rod. Good guy. You don't have to worry about anything. Woo! That's a big whiting again, man. You got some big whitings today, Dad. Looks like we're eating some whiting for dinner. We're eating something. Where's my shrimp? Man, this, this mantis shrimp is working really well. This is such a delicious fish because the meat is very white, flaky, sweet. Mwah, deliciousness. I love eating whiting because they're just, first of all, so plentiful. You don't have to worry about over harvesting. There's plenty of them out here. And when you cook it the right way, it's my favorite fish. 
So I'm gonna put this in our cooler and keep fishing. So we got the head here. I cut it in half. Now I'm just gonna cut it again in half. Oops, leave the shell on, that's okay. Three pieces. We'll put this on like this. Dang, the shell is so hard. You have to hook it between the armor plating. There, like that. It's bottom hook. There. All right, as soon as we're casting it out, we're getting bites. You on one? I don't think so. My dad is though. So. Uh, so, oh, it's a big one here again. Look into this rod. This is the bomb. This is my favorite one. It's better than the one I have at home. Whoa. You know, this is. I, I like this one better because it's just wicked out so easy and very durable, lightweight, strong. I mean, you can go anywhere with this. I mean, I, I can go overseas with this even. You know, unpack about this long, about 30 inches the longest. Very strong. And we got some big fish out of this before, so anyway, believe me. For those of you who don't know yet, I've been prototyping my own hay skipper rod. This is a five piece, nine foot two rod. That's honestly my ideal rod that I love to use on the beach, jetty, surf. So I'm designing this rod so that I can travel wherever I want to and have a rod that breaks down to about this size and I can catch fish anywhere I go. It's called the hay skipper rod. Now it's not for sale yet, I'm still prototyping it and it's about six months in. I've been finding a lot of really awesome things about it, but I also find things that I need to change and fix about it so that it's more sturdy, more portable, and just good for bigger fish, good for small fish, sensitive enough for small fish, but also strong enough for big fish. That's really my goal here, is to have an all-encompassing rod that's perfect for every kind of traveler. Stay tuned, it's gonna be released sometime in the springtime. If you're interested in this rod, comment below and I'm going to be giving away some free rods. That's it right there. That first one right there. That's my beauty. Hey, I thought I was your beauty. You're my number one beauty. That's my number two beauty. <laughs> Is my dad on the fish? I think, are you over top? My, oh! Yeah! We got about a dozen of these big sized ones like this. I mean, this isn't massive, but this is a nice sized whiting. Perfect for one person to eat a grilled whiting. Ooh, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so let's use the head. Cut this head off like this. That's one piece of bait. Now the next piece, I think what I'm gonna do here is cut this shell off because it's so dang hard that I, I'm afraid that fish won't even be able to bite through it. Oh, that might've been a mistake. Ooh, Aaron, he's on. Are you? You ain't on, man. Why are you lying to me? I have a cold. I feel like it's a small whiting here. Yeah, it's a small whiting. Good. You can catch him up with. Yeah. I'm getting a bite as soon as I throw it out there using this uh, mantis shrimp. Something big pulling it. Something big on the other end. Let's hope this is the redfish we were looking for. Woo! Whoa, 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 it's kicking, it's kicking. I see it, it's right here. It's getting close. What is it? Is it a red? Oh, it's another shark! Darn it. It's a little baby. You're on? You see those teeth? I mean, they're small, but they're strong. Go, go, go. On our way. Let me take a bite of 
one after another, some of my favorite eating fish, whitings. Oh yeah! That's far out there, huh? Woo! Kicking a tent around. Well, I'm at the sandbar. We have a perfect size hook for all different kinds of fish. This is a size two hook, two circle hook. So when a fish hit it and run, it sets itself. You don't have to worry about attending your rod every little second. If you turn your back and a fish bites it, it'll hook itself, you won't miss the fish. That's the benefit of using our rig. I wanna give a big special thanks to my friend Charles who gave us this awesome cooler backpack. Man, this thing is freaking awesome. You can put ice in it and it's an entire cooler here. This cooler bag is really nice because it works as a backpack and a cooler at the same time. Looks like my dad got another fish right now. Oh, big one! These are great size whitings. I'm glad that these really weird looking mantis shrimp are working. Honestly, I was afraid I wouldn't even know how to use the mantis shrimp because the shells are so hard. It's like an armor plating. But really, what I figured out is if I cut them, cut the heads off, then cut them up this way, it works really well. I might not be using it the best way. I might be using it like a complete like noob amateur, but it's working for me. If you guys know how to do it better, let me know in the comments below. My dad keeps calling them praying mantises, but they're called mantis shrimp. I don't blame them. They do kind of look like praying mantises. I mean, these are some wild, wild looking baits, guys. Look at them. They're so sh pokey, too. Should we try eating them, Dad? You want to try taking one home and eating them? Well, Aaron, what do you think? Okay, I'm going to make one. Aaron's going to eat it. She's going to be the test subject to see whether or not... If you guys could see her face right now, you'd know that she, she's not going. There's no way in, in heck that she's going to be the first one to eat it, right? You're yeah, rolling your eyes. My dad said he'll cook it for you. Look at that. They look appetizing, don't they? Already. Oh, Papa got a fish. Is that a pompano? Yeah, I don't think waiting works as well as just cranking it in, huh? When you have a circle hook, you crank. You don't wait. Yeah, you don't set it when you have a circle hook. That's true. Is it pulling your drag or is that the, is that the sandbox? sandbox? Oh! Oh! Crank it! Crank it! Crank it! Crank it! You're right! You just gotta crank it! Oh! He doubled up! That's a big one, Dad! Oh, it's a bluefish! Dang, yours, your whiting is bigger than my bluefish. I like you the size of that one. I'm gonna let this guy go. We should keep that one. half of it. It's a great time trying this really weird looking bait and honestly I don't know it caught a bunch of whiting it worked really well but it's so spiny I don't really want to handle it all the time and I didn't catch anything huge on uh, you know a whole thing I thought I was gonna catch a bunch of redfish caught a bunch of whiting but I'm happy about a bunch of whiting but I could have caught a bunch of whiting using my own salted baits using shrimps using squid clams Whiting seem to eat just about anything. I didn't catch anything too unique or special using these uh, weird looking baits, but comment below. What have you caught using mantis shrimp? I had a great time kind of dissecting them and seeing what they look like. I've never used this kind of bait. It's very strange looking bait, but like I said, I'm not sure if I'd, I'd go out of my way to go collect them or go out of my way to um, buy them. Shrimp works just fine. My salted baits works just fine. We've got about a dozen of these nice size whitings. I'm gonna take it home. 
I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways to cook it up. I'm pretty sure you've never seen it cooked this way. And I'm gonna show you just why I love whiting so much. I wanna give a big shout out to Gomexis. Your handle worked really well. It feels really great in my hand. It's a great update to anyone's reels because it just feels like really nice and beefy in your hand. You know, you don't, you don't have to worry about your hand slipping out of it and it feels really nice. It makes your reel just that much better. It makes the reel feel a lot smoother, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man. Moist. Yeah. Here we are conditioning the oil. Now we're gonna fry them. Got pickled mustard greens here. We've got what is this, Dad? Um, I don't know what the Let me see what it's the called. Name of this. It, we don't even know what it's called. It's a root family for, for making fish. Um, is it like a kind of like a ginger or garlic? I mean, ginger, spring onions, and cilantro. So what is what kind of vegetable is this? This is called mustard green pickle. Pickled mustard greens. Yeah. How would you describe the taste of it? A little salty. A little bit of sour. Kind of like sweet and sour, right? No, sweet not sweet, but it's salty. A little bit salty. I thought it was a little bit sweet. Garlic. Then we'll put this on the bottom of the pot. Then we'll put some of this in there. Some water. A little bit of fish sauce. this dish myself before but it's a fried fish with pickled vegetables and different aromatics I can't see how it tastes bad the fried fish is marinated in the soy sauce it looks really nice Just get a piece like that get some vegetables all right looks really nice smells really nice mmm tastes really nice it's sweet from the soy sauce salty from these Mustard greens, mmm, the mustard greens, this is great. This tastes amazing. Mmm, delicious. How is it? Mmm, delicious. Mmm, the fish with the pickles. And the rice. Mm. So good. 